Well, for more on what's happening in Crimea, our foreign editor, Philip Turl, joins me here. And Philip, as we just heard there, Ukraine suggesting but not confirming it is involved in those attacks in Crimea. Um, why are we not getting a direct confirmation or denial from Kiev? Uh, I think th there are several reasons for this, and one of them may be because Ukraine is actually planning quite a lot of secret missions, sabotage missions. It doesn't want to give any information out about what it's doing. Uh, therefore, it's not going to say directly, yes, it was us that was responsible for uh, the attacks on these m munitions depots. This is the second uh, attack that we've had within the past week, uh, the one which has just uh, taken place in Jankoy in, in the last few hours. Uh, but remember, there was another one which set off uh, explosions at a munitions depot earlier this, this month at a military airfield in western Crimea. Now, Crimea is, has been under uh, Russian control since 2014, um, and it is perceived by Kyiv as being uh, a base for Russia to launch its attacks to try to take control of the rest of Ukraine. This is what Vladimir Putin wanted when he launched his invasion of Ukraine back in uh, February of this year, on the 24th of February. That, of course, that invasion of the country, which was supposed to be just a, a snap invasion in just a few days, hasn't gone according to plan. Uh, and I think this is perceived by uh, Ukraine as being the next step in what it wants to do, which is to catch back or take back full control of Crimea and also uh, the Donbass region. There are many countries around the world, Nadia, who are saying, well, look, to end this war, Ukraine should negotiate with Russia and agree not to uh, uh, take back or to hand over to Russia both Crimea and the Donbass region. This is something the Ukrainian authorities have always refused to do. Um, and what is uh, an indicating factor here, and that was re referred to in the report we just saw, is the fact that there, there are remarks from the Ukrainian authorities which could lead one to believe that it is Ukraine behind uh, these attacks against these munitions uh, depots in Crimea. Uh, the most recent one coming from uh, uh, the Ukrainian presidential uh, spokesman, uh, Mikhailo Podolyak, who, who just spoke immediately after uh, that attack took place, which is something that uh, is... Uh, I think in, uh, indicative of the fact that maybe the Ukrainians are behind this, but they're not going to actually say so uh, right out straight away. Now, meanwhile, uh, Philip, Western governments are still supplying uh, Ukraine with weapons, notably the United States. Now, according to Russia, it is the United States that's dragging out this war. Here's Vladimir Putin. The situation in Ukraine shows that the U.S. is trying to prolong this conflict, and they act in exactly the same way, fueling the potential for conflict in Asia, Africa and Latin America. So, Philip, the United States trying to prolong the conflict, according to Putin. Your thoughts on that? Well, I think this is probably what we'd expect from Vladimir Putin. If you look at the, the budget the U.S. has put into this, it's like 9.8 billion U.S. dollars worth of military equipment has arrived in Ukraine since the 24th of February. Uh, that's almost double the annual Ukrainian military budget of 5.9 billion U.S. dollars. Uh, so there are the jitters taking place in Moscow and, and fingers being pointed at Washington saying, well, look, you know, these weapons coming in a stretching the war out, causing more misery. But of course, the US doesn't see it that way around. The US says it's not going to let up in its backing of the Ukrainian authorities, like many other Western nations, including the European Union. And it's a sign, I think, that Vladimir Putin is not worried, but he's trying to point the blame at the US uh, to put himself in a more favourable light back at home with his own public opinion. Philip Tell, our foreign editor. Thank you.